All right, well, you need to quit having fun. And I know I'm the instigator. Let's all ride to the jury, please. <laughs> of the file from 397 and putting it on the hard drive of the laptop so that we can navigate faster. Is that correct? Yes, I did. Okay, and, and doing so seems to have solved the problem. Would you agree? Yes. Okay. So what's now displayed up there is a duplicate of 397, which is the disk of your iPhone 5 analysis um, that you did from September of 2015 to better decode what was already on the phone and retrieved in 2014, correct? Yes. Uh, you've had to read a report. You fed read a report. I want to ask you to come down and I want to talk to about the specific post from June to the 18th of 2014. In the Whisper app. Yes. Uh, I'll let you navigate through first. I want to talk about this post that's red and black. Um, I'm going to let you do this since you're, you're okay. more skilled than the fed reader. So I'm starting with the post that's in red and black. Can you please bring that up and show the jury what that is? You want me to file for this one? Yes, please. Okay. And then from that, I'm going to show you states 399. Is that a fair and accurate depiction of that actual post that was pulled from that youth fed reader? It is. And then 400, is that the chat between the poster and the defendant that was decoded once we used the updated Celebrite? In states 400. Yes, I'm just reading through it. Uh, yes, it is. And then 398 is a disk that contains these two items on it as well, and you view that and initial bit to confirm that. Is that correct? I do. Okay. So to be fair, for this, well, let me do this first. I'm going to tender it. So then it's 399, 3, 400, and 398 as well. <coughs> 399, 400, That's what I showed you earlier. <coughs> This is a screenshot of an image that's pulled up on a UFED reader that is not the UFED reader that we've got pulled up here, correct? It's a, it's an, it's the earlier uh, version. The earlier version. Okay. And earlier version. Yeah. Okay. And on 400, um, is this a printout from the earlier version or from the newer version, the 4264? It would be from 4264 be because 4264. It can't, it would, I was unable to produce it from the earlier version. I gotcha. And but um, the image was present in both. Understood. The um, UTC <coughs> minus four time there that's on States Exhibit 400? That's correct. Um, you'd agree that the, when you load up the UFED reader 4264, it's automatically set to Eastern um, Standard Time minus five? It, it was. Okay. Yeah. And so when this was printed out, um, it's still from that disk, but it was just modified to account for UTC minus four. Well, I, I, I would not characterize it as modifying. It simply was, according to date, okay. daylight savings time. You simply check box daylight savings time as I have done here. Right. To 
perform uh, and then open the same tap uh, and go directly to this post and, and that makes the adjustment within the project setting. Um, understood. But, but this is from the same project? Yes. Okay. Thanks. No judgment. Going back to that new screen, did you minimize it or? Uh, I, I closed that uh, okay. image. Okay, we'll use 399 then. Sure. May have been hard to see for some of the jurors from over there. And I want to be clear about 399. This is this is a, a still image of what was just displayed for the jury that was re recovered from the iPhone um, in the whisper chats. Uh, what what does this whisper post read? The whisper post reads: "I hate being married with kids. The novelty has worn off, and I have nothing to show for it." I want to be very clear here. We, we, we don't have any reason to believe that Mr. Harris posted this. This was just an image that was on his phone from a conversation that he had from June the 18th of 2014. This is a, yes, this is a meme that uh, was pushed to his phone by the application Whisper. Um, and I have no reason to believe he created it. Okay. Did he respond to it, and was that decoded using the updated software on the morning of June the 18th of 2014? Yes. And is that captured here in the electronic version that's been displayed? And we could scroll down through that if we wanted to, correct? Yes, we can. And there are timestamps associated with that, of course, accounting for it daylight savings time because it was in June that this discussion, this conversation happened, correct? That is correct. And then states 400, that's a printed copy of that conversation that Mr. Harris had with the poster of this meme on Whisper. Is that correct? That's correct. Let's come up to the jury, please. And I want to go through this conversation that Mr. Harris had with the person that posted states exhibit 399 and the Times. What was Mr. Harris's response and at what time? So uh, the response was, I miss having time by myself and going out with friends. The date was uh, June 18th of 2014. The time was 8.55 uh, and 19 seconds a.m. Did the person who posted this <clears throat> initial meme then begin a back and forth with the defendant, and is that accurately captured in stakes 400? Yes, they did, and it is captured. What time was the next piece of this conversation from the person who <coughs> posted this? Later, uh, just a few minutes later that morning at 9, 12, and 54 seconds a.m. What did that person say to the defendant? Uh, the response was, yeah, I have nothing. Every ounce of me is being a perfect, unappreciated wife with two little ones that drain out the rest of me. I don't resent my kids, I resent him. Did Mr. Harris respond to that in two instances very close thereafter? He did. What time was the first response? At 9.15 and 15 seconds a.m. On the morning of September the 18th of 2014? Yes, all the posts were on, Excuse me, on June. Uh, June 18th, 2014. What was his next response to the person that posted this? My wife gets upset when I want to go out with friends. And thereafter? I love my son and all, but we both need escapes. What time was that post? 9.15 and 33 seconds a.m. on June 18, 2014. We just seen some immediate video there um, that we showed that you had captured from the Chick-fil-A. Um, that was just 15 minutes after being at the Chick-fil-A. Uh, standing there according to the time adjustment that you had to do, correct? Judge, I'm going to object to leaving. When is that in relation to the still image that we just showed with Mr. Harris and his son at Chick fil A? Uh, this, that particular post is approximately uh, 15 or so minutes uh, after we see him appear at the Chick fil A. And is his son specifically referenced in that post? He is. 
how does the conversation progress thereafter? Who's the next person to send a message and at what time? So at about two and a half minutes later, uh, always in my feelings responds, maybe that's our issue too. We, I need a break from love. I, yes. And thereafter, did Mr. Harris send response messages back to the person that posted 399 on Whisper? Yes, he did. When was the first response? Uh, at uh, 9.24, 15 seconds a.m., he said agreed, followed by uh, a few seconds later, asterisk, hug, asterisk, and five seconds later, we both need that. What time was that? Uh, last response. Uh, 9.24 and 28 seconds. This is all a part of that same conversation where Mr. Harris was discussing being an escape from the sun? It is. Judge, I'm going to object and I'm going to move to strike that question and answer. It was leading and it was not the testimony. What is that? The question's already been asked and has been answered at this point. Had been more timely, objection, maybe I would have rephrased it, but uh, I don't think it was leading. And um, I'll move on to a further topic. Well, I sustain the objection and I'll strike the answer in question. Okay. And you can rephrase, uh, Mr. Evans. All right, Detective, come over here, please. Scrolling through the digital version here, is there a way to make this um, the digital version pop up bigger so that the jury can see it? displayed on Mondo pad. Is this that conversation that you just relayed uh, to the jury on, in the lower right hand corner of what's being dis displayed on the monitor? These are the last five. Uh, yeah. Okay. Scroll up. It's scrolled uh, to the bottom of the conversation. But this conversation, for whatever it says, is all contained on the disc that you just gave some testimony about, 397. Is that correct? Yes. And if anyone were to bring up um, 397, if you're to give it enough time, you could see this exact conversation between uh, Mr. Harris and the person that posted that meeting. Yes. Um, with the date and time stamped as well. Yes. Right, you can take your seat. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you just a few other questions. Um, were you tasked with doing this next? Were you tasked with doing any um, additional work with that particular phone or? basically to look at uh, this particular whisper post that was initially obtained in uh, 2014. Was that your primary responsibility with that phone? That was my primary responsibility in 2015. Okay. And, for, uh, for this particular whisper post. In terms of a more detailed examination of the phone itself, did you provide a copy of the same uh, information that's provided on 397 so that Detective Bill Stoddard and his detectives could do further analysis on the phone? Um, with the, the <coughs> updated uh, software abilities. Yes, with the updated uh, UFED reader. And I want to be very clear about this point. Even without the updated UFED reader, this image and um, most of all of the data was initially obtained in 2014. Yeah, okay. When was this initially found and when was the data acquired? Uh, I was asked specifically about that meme. Uh, associated with a whisper app in September, or it may have been earlier, but I def uh, definitely recall September of 2014. Okay. And then um, let me ask you about search history. Um, are you always able, looking at a device and looking at the extraction data from a device, are you always able to see the entirety of somebody's search history, say, on the Internet or Safari? No, not necessarily. Can you describe instances where you might not see the full search history um, from a particular device? Under what circumstances might that happen? That, that could happen um, for a number of reasons. 
one that I could think of is clearing the search history and, and uh, cleared information is uh, in a particular extraction is considered deleted <coughs> and it's possible that that's not data that is uh, picked up by the Celebrite um, extraction. We had a conversation <coughs> about certain applications that might also um, automatically delete your search history. Are you familiar with some of those? Yes. And can you explain to the jury um, a, a, about those and, and what they do? Uh, it's like cleaner type applications uh, for mobile devices, uh, such as like AVG cleaner, where you could set it uh, to once it uh, reaches a certain point or time, it'll give you a notification that uh, you can clear a certain amount of data from your device. Um, Are you familiar enough with iPhone to be able to talk about the iOS system and whether there's an automatic feature um, that would delete uh, search history on, on it or not? Uh, I'm not uh, in particular with iOS. I've not uh, had an iOS personally, mm -hmm. uh, an iOS device. The closest I've come is uh, I believe my wife has an iPad. Are you, are you familiar with um, being able to take a screenshot with um, certain Apple devices? Uh, yes, to some degree. If one were to take a screenshot of a search, um, would you be able to possibly see the date and time on that? Absolutely, but that function could occur in uh, a number of operating systems. Sure. Uh, Android as well. As All right, last thing I want to talk to you about is Jim Persinger. Are you familiar with who Jim Persinger is? I am. Okay. And is he a, a local expert up in the metro Atlanta area? I think he lives in Cobb, but we'll ask him. Uh, um, but is he also a um, expert in dealing with uh, cell phone extractions and electronic devices? Is someone as an expert before having been tendered as such by the court? I'll ask you to use the term. I'll ask it a different way. Who is he? Uh, Jim Persinger uh, has a, a company, and uh, as I understand it, it's private security okay. or private uh, forensic work for uh, and private, private investigative work. Um, in terms of Mr. Persinger, were you tasked with at some point uh, having a meeting with him and members of your unit to discuss your analysis in this case? We did. Uh, I did attend a meeting. Okay. And um, was he also provided with uh, an extraction or a copy of the extraction of the iPhone 5 and some of the other electronic devices in this case? He was. And um, in terms of comparing cell phone times versus the accuracy of a laptop or uh, uh, other electronic device, which would you expect to have a more accurate time stamp on it uh, of those? Um, generally speaking, a, a, a cell phone with network service will have consistently a, a time that would be um, in association with network time should be correct. And, and why Whereas a, a laptop or some other device, whether or not it has uh, services reaching out and touching a network, if, if it weren't, it could, could be off. All right. I think that's all I have. Cross <coughs> Just real quickly, since uh, you and Mr. Evans finished on this, uh, Mr. Person, uh, who attended that meeting? Uh, I was asked to attend by um, Detective Yeager. Made, made me aware that uh, Jim Person was coming to the office. So Detective Yeager was there? Yes. He asked you to attend? I don't recall whether uh, I was made aware er earlier. It just seems like uh, he was meeting with him and asked me to join the meeting. Um, do you know who scheduled that meeting? I believe so. Do you know who scheduled that meeting? I, I said I believe so. Okay. I'm sorry, you may not have heard me. Who scheduled that meeting with mm -hmm. Mr. Persinger? I, I believe it was scheduled by the DA's office. Okay. And was Detective Stoddard present? Not that I recall. Were 
were there any other detectives present for that meeting? <coughs> I don't believe so. Um, Detective Smith, if you don't mind stepping down, please. in regards to um, cleaner type applications, <coughs> correct? I did. Okay. And, and what was the name of the application? It was ABG cleaner type apps, did you describe? I did. Okay. With regard to it, yeah. was I aware of it? In response to that question, I'm aware of it. Okay. Um, were, were you aware of any cleaner type applications on this phone? I've never looked. Okay. Um, do you mind looking at? I can take a look and I'm sure you may not break it. Sure. <coughs> And while you're looking there at uh, Detective Smith, do you, you notice uh, the whis whisper application? It's line 101 right here. You notice that? Yes. Okay. And there is a check mark there, and that indicates, correct, that Celebrite has been able to decode that application. <coughs> correct? It is in the column noted as decode. Okay. Um, and you also can see that there's a column to the left of decoded that has an X mark at the top. Celebrate provides that column to indicate when something has been deleted, correct? Yes. So far, no applications have been deleted, correct? Correct. And, and the Whisper app, this is the application that um, had the data that you were asked about, that had um, this conversation with the person that posted the red image, correct? Yes. Uh, that was done on June 18, <coughs> 2014. Yes, correct. And that application was not deleted, correct? Correct. And, and let's continue to scroll through uh, the rest of the applications.
thank you. Um, there are no AVG cleaner type applications uh, downloaded on Mr. Harris's phone, correct? I do not. And um, the, the reason that there is this column that um, if an item had been deleted, there would there would be an X there, correct? A red X. Those are for the applications that are being registered by this person. Right. And so um, if someone were to delete an item from the phone, if Celebrite can detect that application or that file having been deleted, it'll still show up on the report. It'll just indicate that was deleted, correct? Um, not necessarily. It could be something that's uh, been deleted so long ago, right? That it's been pushed out of the region in which the original extraction looks out and says, does the communication with the extraction <coughs> software and determines whether or not there's this finite set of data that it can look for. And it's not a bit for bit application. In other words, we're not going to see everything. And so in an advanced logical extraction, you, there could be items that have been pushed out into uh, areas that you can't see. That, that, that they're outside of the because it's, it's no longer recognized by the logical file system. Okay. And, and maybe just to simplify things, if, if we can, um, Celebrite is able, in some instances, to detect if something has been deleted. Yes. Okay. And um, if Celebrite can, it'll tell whoever is tasked with looking at this, whether it's the jury, lawyers, detectives such as yourself, um, this file has been deleted. It's all right. We'll that. give an X. Uh, a. No, That's okay. All right. That was my last question on that point, so we'll just move on. Okay. Um, you, you discussed um, how information in a prior Celebrite might be um, hidden, was, was your word, and I wrote that down. Um, I, I just want to make clear. Simply because a prior version of the Celebrite software can't decode or detect information doesn't mean that a user hid that information from a computer forensics detective. Correct. Uh, right. It just wasn't decoded. If, if I used the word hidden, it probably wasn't in the context that you And I didn't take it that way. I just wanted to make sure. You, uh, Mr. Harris wasn't hiding the whisper content from uh, Celebrite and detectives. It, it was there right. from the original extraction, okay. and it just wasn't decoded such that the, and, and we had already, uh, detectives had already seen the need that they were uh, <coughs> wanting to know more about the, the, the chat that would have been associated with the need, and it wasn't decoded. So. Um, but it was there the whole time. Yeah. At the time that uh, all that was available to detectives was the image, what, what you refer to as the meme. At that point in time, um, there was no way of knowing that there were chats or messages associated with that image, correct? No, that would not be clear. There, there, there was a way. We just didn't know which ones. Uh, we didn't understand how it was decoded to match a meme up with a conversation. The, the, the content of the chat with a particular meeting. We've already had Detective Jader testify and, and, and go through the limited report that he created, so I want the jury to understand. The content flow, the conversation flow associated with that red image, that wasn't present on the initial forensic analysis report that was created back in June of 2014. It was not decoded, it wasn't. and therefore it wasn't in the project tree, which is what I believe what you described. Correct. Right. Yes. So at that point in time, Celebrite didn't detect that there was a conversation associated, or a conversation at all, regarding that red image. It wasn't listed as a chat. Correct. In the, in, what you call it, the file tree? Uh, project tree. Project tree. Project tree. 
at that point in time, in June of 2014, all that was there in relation to that meme, the red image, was the red image, right? We were aware of the, yeah, the detectives brought to our attention and wanted to know more about that. Which detectives brought that red image to your attention? Detective Stoddard was the only he's, detective that brought it to my attention. He's the only detective. The only one that brought it to my attention. <coughs> <coughs> did, did he ask you if you believed that Ross Harris had created that red image? Just about not relevant whether it's one hearsay asking him about what another detective asked him. Um, second, wouldn't be relevant what that other detective believed or not. Uh, that, that wasn't my question. I'm, I'm not asking you to tell anyone what someone else believed. Simply following up on Mr. Stoddard coming to you, bringing to your attention this red image. Were you asked if you believed that Mr. Harris created that red image? I would call for hearsay. It's the question of another detective, too. The question isn't offered for the truth of the matter, Judge. It's just a question. Question. It's not hearsay. What's, what's its purpose? We've been discussing this red image, the limitations of both forensic reports. <coughs> one done in June of 2014 and one done in 2015. This detective has discussed having to go meet with a private investigator to determine more information about this. It was believed that this red image was created. I need to object to him testifying uh, at, at this point and doing a, a standing objection. I just renew my objection that it would be hearsay. He can ask Detective Stoddard what he believed when Stoddard testified. Perhaps if he can lay the proper foundation. Yes. You've got this piece, piece of information. Some detective work needs to be done. Yes. And you weren't necessarily tasked with trying to find out who created that red image. I was not. But, but, I mean, that wasn't your assignment. That was somebody else's task, if, if any. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I was asked to uh, determine if there was, as I recall, determine if there was, if I could determine back and forth texting and chat associated with that. And just to be clear, now that we have gone through the conversation associated with that red image, Ross Harris did not create that red image. He did not. And it's my understanding from the testimony that you could not see until late September 2015 the particular whisper chat associated with that red image. I did not. about um, searches on the phone, uh, there is an item in the project tree uh, called web history, correct? Yes. And we've clicked on that, or I've clicked on that here, and you see it up on the big screen. So I do. Sure you can see. All right. And um, the second item there, it's titled Passport <coughs> Fees, correct? Yes. Okay. And if I come down, to, 
line 28. There's a Google search for child passport cost. Yes. Okay. And we know from the Celebrite that the passport fees website was visited at 12.48, 15 seconds in the morning on June the 18th, 2014. Correct? Yeah. Right. Detective, will you, will you help me with something, please? Mm -hmm. object to council doing a Google search using this, this laptop. I don't think that we have any appropriate evidentiary foundation for whatever he's trying to show. Is it your laptop? What's that? Who says it's? It's the state's laptop. I sustain the objection. Um, well, Judge, uh, may I have the opportunity to set up my computer then? The state doesn't want me to use my, my, my objection is that we shouldn't be Googling things in front of the, the, the jury without a proper foundation for that. Well, I agree with that, too. If you had just identified a Google search that was done, child passport calls, correct? Yes. On the web page. Right. And so <coughs> if I ask you to type in those three words into a Google search, During a break, would you allow me to show you a Google search of those three terms? And then we can follow up and ask some questions about that later. Is that okay? I guess so. I don't even really know sure. how to object to that. I'm not I don't think that's <laughs> because it's real. Unusual. I'll talk about this privately. Well, th th this is unusual evidence. Um, I know, so I, but I, 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 I just gave a definitive and not unusual ruling. Y'all talk about that later. Yes, have you gone to this website? I have not. You, you'd agree it appears that Mr. Harris was researching child passport costs. <laughs> The title and the URL certainly indicate that that may be something that he's interested in searching. Okay. And um, were, were you aware that Mr. Harris was planning a cruise with his son and family? I was not. Okay. Um, and then I want to direct your attention to um, this fourth line here. Why are hot and humid days often and That fourth one there. result in this why are hot and humid days often hazy title? I don't know um, by having tested it, but I do suspect that would be the result. Okay, thank you. And, and, and looking at some of these <coughs> Google searches, um, if I could categorize all of them, would you agree that they're kind of random? We've got Atlanta casual encounters, most ludicrous softcore movies on Netflix, where is Bonnaroo, Walt, um, are there giraffes in Ghana? Would, would you agree that these are kind of random topics? Judge, I would object to him characterizing what the search is, the evidence is what it is, we can ask about that, but what has to characterizing it, I don't think that would be appropriate. 
system. Would you agree that there are um, a number of different topics included on these web visits? I would. And, and, and to be fair, you weren't tasked with following up on these items that were <coughs> clicked on or searched on his phone. I was not. Okay, that was that was someone else's responsibility to follow up and investigate that information. If if someone chose to, yes. Okay. category in the project tree? I'm familiar with it in general uh, on the project tree. If you were going to point to a particular line and ask me what it said, I would not have it well, with regard to this time. Well, um, <clears throat> you, you're very familiar with cell phone, correct? I am. You're very familiar with this version, the 4264. I am. You're very familiar with how to manipulate this um, forensic analysis report. To generate various reports, uh, outputs, and different styles of reporting. In, in fact, you put it on display a little earlier. You were able to convert the UTC time to minus four since the questions that the state was going to ask you about occurred in June of 2014. Correct? Uh, that is a, uh, a function of the you and, and you're able to do that. You know yeah, how to do that. It's a set. Yeah. Yes. And, and so you, you are very familiar with how to navigate through Celebrite, the UFED reader, and, and reports such as these. Yes. And so um, in, in looking at this timeline here that you created, uh, or this report that you created, let me get to I have, have an objection. I have an objection. Okay. This witness already testified that he had the very limited task of looking at the WISP proposed. He hasn't reviewed any of this stuff, so I don't think it's a proper witness to be asking these details of. You can ask him. He can speak. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this report is already in evidence. You were asked questions about um, some activity on June the 18th. So let me just direct your attention to the morning of June the 18th. <clears throat> Specifically, the line numbers 59784, 59785, 59786. Okay. And, and looking at those uh, lines there, you'd agree that um, th this reflects the conversation associated with that uh, red image that we now know uh, Mr. Harris did not create, correct? Yes. You can see that on the screen? Uh, well, I, I see uh, all of the individual lines from that uh, chat. Okay. That's associated with the meeting. And, and, and here's what's, um, what's important about the timeline. The timeline is going to show all activity decoded by Celebrite to include all of these categories that we see in the project tree, correct? Yes, it does. Okay. So um, we know, based on this timeline, that on 9-18, 2014 at 9.15.33 seconds in the morning when Mr. Harris says, I love my son and all, but we both need escapes. Okay. There is a gap in time before he writes another message or really does anything on the phone. Correct? Yes, I think we, we actually, I, I actually read out those times. And so, um, just to be clear, on line 59787, that time is 924.15 seconds, correct? 
Yes. Right. So this timeline shows us that there's no activity by the user on this phone between this message at 9.15.33 a.m. <coughs> and 9.24.15 a.m. Correct? Well, I'm, I'm, I apologize. I, I, I think you just misspoke. In regard to, I, I believe it's the 1809. I'm not. I'm, 59, I'm, seven, uh, line 59, 7, I, I'm absolutely capable of just speaking, so. Um, 59, 785, line 59, 785? Yes, sir. Is uh, 91809? Right, and, and, and that's from always in my feelings. Yes. Who we know oh, okay. is not Ross Harris. Okay, I understand where you're You got me? Yeah. Okay, so Mr. Harris writes, I love my son and all. Okay, that message. Always in my feelings, that's somebody else. Yes. You don't know who she is. Do you? I do not. Okay. You weren't tasked with finding out who that person was. I was not. That's somebody else's job. If, if anyone's job. If anyone. That was someone else's and, and so, to be clear, and, and now you understand where I'm going? Uh, yes. Um, Celebrite does not indicate any user activity, user initiated activity, between 9.15.33 and 9.24.33. <coughs> Correct? Uh, I, I would agree. Almost nine minutes. For anything in the time. Okay. <clears throat> Just before I move on to kind of my next chapter, I mean, can I inquire how long the court would give me? Well, I was curious about that. Y'all approach the bench. any information regarding this matter outside of this courtroom. So whatever means by which you do that, uh, I would suggest anything you can think of to get at it, you don't do it. That's what I would suggest. That's what you're responsible for. I hope you'll have a lovely evening, 8.30 in the morning.